Ciao, I'm Gabriele Colangelo. Um, I'm really happy to be here. I'm in Paris to do this uh, exceptional experience with Paolo Rovesi that will shoot the new Giada collection for the next full winter. Here we are in the studio, as you can see, and um, uh, there is the collection that we prepare for uh, this shooting. Um, in this case, uh, as the collection before, um, uh, this um, uh, work is about again a sort of connection with the nature. Um, also, like last season, we explored this uh, um, field, but in this season, is more deep this kind of experience uh, because uh, there is a lot of connection, especially with the earth and the sky. The collection is inspired on the surface of the wood and of the tree. So, tree is something that is very connected to the earth, but also with the branches that goes to the, f the sky. So, uh, it's a uh, it's a nice combination between opposite also. So as you can see also from uh, our board, uh, this will be the part that uh, we will uh, shoot with uh, uh, Paolo Roversi. Uh, for us, is um, these are the, um, the most important looks uh, which uh, tell about the shape. We work a, all, um, a lot on uh, this part, uh, the upper part of the body with this draping effect, uh, in this case on the cashmere, but in, this, in, this, in the other case on uh, the silk. As you can see, um, uh, even if it's a, a winter collection, it's very soft, feminine. There is like um, a nice combination with the heavier material and lighter material. And also there are a lot of uh, geometrical elements uh, which are inspired uh, by the inspiration of the collection which are the Ryan type tippery um, works. So um, there is a, a, like a nice combination with um, shape uh, which are close to the body with other like more uh, um, about the comfortness and uh, the roundness uh, um, of uh, the, the forms. I'm Karen Kaiser, I'm the stylist. We're working on the Fall Winter 21 collection. Well, it's, uh, it's actually a long design journey. Um, Gabrielle and I started many months ago, actually. Uh, we, we work on the research together and we also um, edit the sketches and work on the looks um, also the fabrications which is a very important part with Giada there's many incredible textures also fabrics that are specially created um, which you'll see throughout the collection I started with Giada on the fall winter 16 collection it's been a great evolution with Giada I prefer it. No, it's nice. I'm just moving on her as we go a little higher because proportions. We worked with Paolo on the last fall winter campaign with Saskia and uh, it's personally such an incredible inspiration. I mean, he's obviously a legend, but he himself, I believe, is an artist, so I feel that he's perfect for this collection especially, but also many Jada collections because he um, brings this magic and soul into life. Um, I was inspired by him early in my journey as a stylist um, from the Comme de Garçon and Yoji Yamamoto campaigns. Um, also his studio book I'm a huge fan of because I love texture and his images just really um, include a lot of texture into the images and so he's perfect for this collection. Also, um, it's really exciting for us that he was happy to revisit kind of an artistic, uh, organic um, creation that he has on top of the image, um, which as you'll see relates uh, very well to the design that you'll see in several of the pieces here. And Build it again with two hands. So, and in in this is the other part, the rest of the the collection. 
um, which starts from a nice development of uh, one of our best uh, classic piece, which is the Andy coat, but renovated in the shape of the shoulder with the construction uh, um, of a strong shoulder underlined by this beautiful piping in leather. Um, and uh, then pass through um, uh, to um, more cocoon shape for this beautiful um, short coat uh, where the material are um, um, more textured with a nice uh, um, uh, melange uh, of uh, natural color and uh, the white and then continuing in uh, this lighter shape the skirt with overlapped panels uh, with uh, uh, the print of the season that will continue uh, in, uh, in uh, the lighter coat in uh, wool and silk again with, uh, with the print of the collection. So it's, um, I think it's a, it's a really nice uh, combination with the, the typical Jada DNA but with a nice evolution and then uh, with a um, uh, very nice message. The, the connection with the nature is a nature, especially in this moment of our life. Um, so I think it will be uh, a nice message for the future uh, that we will be soon, I hope. This coat um, specifically is one that I love. I think it, it, it exudes the femininity in its shape, but the power that you feel. And then there's this really incredible special technique. Um, this is a pressed um, boucle, and it relates very much to the images in Paolo's lighting that we're shooting today. So to me, it, it brings it all together. Um, but what I think is also very special about this collection particularly is there's a feeling of comfort, um, but in a very luxurious and chic and sophisticated way, um, which is Giada. Um, but I think that even if it's the most luxurious cashmere, it floats. Um, there's such an, an element in the cut and the design that Gabrielle created that is very comfortable, relates to nature, which I think is really needed in this time. In between, no? Yeah. It is, a, it's a beautiful collaboration. Um, we are both very passionate and detail oriented. So um, we begin with the research and editing the sketches. The fabrications are a major part. Um, he always creates something new and special, so it's difficult editing down which fabrics we want to work with. Um, but it happens in a very organic, beautiful way. And then we design the collection quite precisely. Um, and then it's exciting to see the first prototypes in person and tweaking the shapes and the designs, um, also editing down also designing the shoes and the bags and the jewelry. With Gabrielle, it's, it's a pleasure. He's a true artist and I think that's what this collection is representing with Paolo as a true artist and Gabrielle and all his craftsmanship and also the Italian craftsmanship. That is a, a big, beautiful part of the Giada collection. Buongiorno, sono Paolo Roversi, sono qui a Parigi nel mio studio per fare delle fotografie oggi per la campagna di Giada, eh, disegnata dallo stilista Gabriele Collangelo. Siamo qui tutti insieme cercando di fare delle belle immagini per questi bellissimi abiti e delle bellissime modelle che spero vi piaceranno. Beh, non è stata una vera scelta, è arrivata un po' per caso la fotografia di Mora. Quando sono arrivato a Parigi tanti anni fa, facevo il report, facevo dei ritratti, poi ho incontrato persone che lavoravano nella moda e piano piano mi sono introdotto nella moda 
e sono rimasto affascinato da questo genere di fotografico che permette tanta creatività, tanta fantasia, tanta immaginazione. Lo, lo, le stylist, il fashion designer è, è lui che scrive la musica, è lui che scrive lo spartito e il fotografo è quello che la interpreta, che la suona. E, ma nella storia può essere molto importante perché insieme cerchiamo di creare un di dare vita a questi, questi vestiti che cominciano essendo dei disegni, poi diventano degli abiti, ma finché non c'è una, una donna dentro rimangono abiti vuoti. E insieme diamo vita a queste immagini di donna, diamo, la, diamo vita alla moda. Le idee vengono lavorando, vengono parlando col brand designer e, e poi se ne discute insieme, poi si comincia a lavorare, e, è una specie di work in progress in cui non è, per me non è mai un lavoro concettuale in cui si decide prima cosa fare, poi è più una cosa di, di sensazioni, di, di, di emozioni. Spesso mi chiedono qual è la differenza tra il tuo lavoro commerciale e il tuo lavoro professionale. Non c'è nessuna differenza, perché anche quando è chiaro che la foto di moda è un'arte applicata, se è un'arte, è comunque un'arte applicata, è un lavoro su, su ordinazione, ma io cerco sempre di fare in un modo personale, in un modo completamente non commerciale. Tutto cambia in questo mondo a una velocità eccezionale e dagli anni 70, quando sono arrivato io nella moda, tutto è cambiato, tantissime cose sono cambiate e, e quindi è difficile dire se è meglio o in peggio, ma comunque... Eh, soprattutto nella moda dove tutto eh, cambia in continuazione ogni sei mesi si rifanno i look, si rifanno le pettinature si rifanno eh, i trucchi si rifanno gli abiti si rifà tutti i mood tutti... è cambiato tutto il rapporto tra gli stilisti, i fotografi con le modelle eccetera i giornali sono cambiati mi piace vedere tanti giovani eh, lanciarsi in questo, in questo mondo e, e portare tante nuove cose. Penso che la moda sia importante, sia importante nel mondo perché non è soltanto un fenomeno sociale, ma la moda è, è legatissima alla vita di noi tutti e, e mi piacerebbe vedere che diventa una, un mezzo per, per comunicare di più, per essere più generosi gli uni con gli altri, per essere più mi piacerebbe vedere una moda più umana. Finito! Bravo! C'è magico sul fotografo! Incredibile! Best! Un lavoro un po' più... più di fino, insomma. Sì, 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 certo.